I found out, like, you'd be an eighth grade teacher. He was like, oh, how'd he get fucking busted, dude? He was text, doing this dude. via text. Yeah, but who got a hold of his text? Which one uh, of these little gay fucking police, kids? Which are eighth graders? <laughs> which one of these gay police kids <laughs> fucking dude, snitched these, on Imagine him. being an eighth grade boy and being like, yo, watch me trick Mr. So-and-so. It'd be dude. the greatest. And, oh, my and God. And then being like, dude, let's go tell your dad. Oh, that's like, probably be the funnest year. Dude, if a that was teacher all tried to fuck did. me, it would be, I would have been like, thank you, God. This dude, is the best had, ever. It'd be so nice. In seventh grade, <laughs> our teacher worked at Orange Julius in the mall. Yeah. And we just would go there and taunt her for her whole shift. <laughs> We'd be like, why do you work here? Why do you, can we get, do we, like, we would just fuck with her. So oh. we would fuck with her all day in school. We found out where she worked and we would just get dropped off at the mall and continue to fuck with her. <laughs> but imagine, she worked at fucking Orange Julius? She worked at Orange Julius. Oh, they did not pay the man. teachers at our grade school. They paid school our teachers well 19000 a year. Yeah, they didn't pay Because one time we were being bad and our te- I remember it. I was in seventh grade. Our teacher stopped talking, walked over, erased the blackboard and wrote her salary on the wall. It was like, I make 19,000 a year and I have to put up with this shit. And I was like, a what a are you complaining? <laughs> <laughs> you know how many 20s that is? Yeah, it's so much. I was geeked. I was like, wow, Dude, this 19, lady's out of her like, mind. They're getting like 300 bucks a week. Yeah, this was 95. Still, <laughs> that's rough. That's dude. rough. Like 300, uh, 395 was pretty hefty. When I took a suspension in high school, they paid me three hundred dollars. That's like a million dollars, bro. It was it was a like hundred bucks. Is a million. Like oh, you bro took it. You, you took the rap. A hundred bucks rat. in high school was like a hundred thousand now. Yeah, it'd be a hundred G's. If someone gave you a hundred bucks, bro. It sat like, in my nightstand. That was they were like promised me you didn't get paid to do this, and I was like, I, I didn't get paid to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding money from your parents is nuts. Hiding three hundred. Yeah. I didn't even hide it. It was just in my top drawer. I would like, look at it. I'd be like, ground, I was grounded for like three months and I'd open the drawer and check out my three crispy Franklins and be like, fuck yeah. We did it. <laughs> Worth it. I think my mom cried. <laughs> <sighs> Secured the bag. She was going to cry no matter what. True. Mom's Secured, cried. She knew. They, she knew. They knew what was good. She knew. I didn't do this guy a favor anyway because I was like, he was like, I'm going to get it together. He like went on to do like heroin. Yeah, I do my really south. Really cool dude though. He was the man. I like that guy. He was the man. But, but I mean, given paying three hundred, how old was he? Big bucks. He was a senior. He he had three hundred. Just to now, be like, all the boys chipped. The boys. In. He was. This was like a very. Sick, he was like one of the most affable, likable dudes. Very popular guy. So a lot of the bros chipped in. Yeah, it probably good felt dude. good to do a favor for him. I felt good. I mean, dude, I always like the guy. They gassed me up on some bullshit terms, dude. They're like, "Yo, like senior chicks are gonna probably." They like they like promised me sex from like women. I was like, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is gonna be tight, dude. All I gotta do is do this, like. Two month stretch, and then it's nothing but ass. There's like, we're gonna write all your papers for you and do it. It's gonna be 300 bucks. Yeah. Still Got sick. zero. One girl was like, that was nice of you to do that. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like it. No, I was just kind of like, yeah, through. that's what's up. And yeah. Like, yeah. And they just left. And I was like, when do I get head from this? Never got it. That probably inspired a beat, though. Was she attractive? I mean, there you didn't need to inspire beats on me back then. Yeah. Were, the river was flowing, dude. Yeah, you didn't need much inspiration back then. I was no. like taking a dump. I had my muse was with me all the time. I had to be. <laughs> Who was your muse? Just all the time. Everybody. Everything. Everything. Yeah. I remember like, it was like, it was like taking a poop. Oh, yeah. You're like, oh, shit, there's that urge. And it was like, <laughs> let's go. I had to like immediately. And if something it. triggered it, it was even worse. <clears throat> True. A like you caught a episode. hug or something or you caught like. <sighs> yeah, it was just a second. After a hug, it was just so the second my parents left. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like I remember, I did, no matter what, as soon as I got a chance, I, I used to have to watch to all it. these fuckers. And my mom would be like, oh, I'm taking your brother to like math tutor at four. And I'd be like hyperventilating from three <laughs> thirty till four. And then You'd I would, like, what time are you leaving? Yeah. I'd be like, when are you leaving? What are you going? What are you guys, <laughs> how long are you going to be gone? I can't wait till my son starts doing this. It's going to be like, dude, how long are you going to be gone? I'm going to lie to him. Yeah. Oh, you got to bust him. I got busted once. Just hit the you garage door. I didn't get busted fapping, but I had... A hard drive, right? So <laughs> this, I had a, like a floppy disk, not a, like a 3.5 disk. Yeah. Right. And so it goes back. Like we used to steal Playboys. That was our thing. Like we used to go to the mall and steal like Penthouse and Playboy and then bring them into school. And like we had like a, a tight network of like bros that would steal and ship them yeah. around to each other. And this one nerd was like, dude, I have the internet. I can get this stuff on a 3.5 disk. Yeah. I was like, dude, bull fucking shit. He's like, bring me a disc. So I brought him like, a, you know what I'm talking about? 3.5 discs, the little yeah, hard yeah, guys. Yeah, floppy disc. I bring him one. He loads it up. I a take floppy? it back. Not or, a floppy, uh, like the yeah, hard one. Bad. Similar. So not like the flat, not like the big one. It was the little guy. Yeah. You put like homework on them and stuff. He was like, dude, I'll load it up. So he loads it up, gives it back to me. 
and I pop it in my computer as soon as I get home. This was pre-internet. This was pre like how did everyone having internet? Oh, okay, he had the internet. It was like AOL dial up before that. Before that, right? So he's like, man, what a pervert his dad must have been. That's a whole other story. <laughs> but then yeah. this dude's like an OG Tap prodigy it. head. He had like pre AOL internet. Oh. So like he gives me this disc. I go home. I pop it in, and it's like Quick Times need it to open file. And I'm like, the fuck is Quick Time? <laughs> so I pop it out, shelve it. <laughs> a year later, like mom was like, can you put this new card shop or something on the computer? Pop it in. It's like download, Quick download, time. download. It's like download QuickTime. And I was like, fucking QuickTime. <laughs> I downloaded it and I started hounding her. Later. This is a year later. Right? So I'm in eighth grade now. You had a hot floppy for that long? I don't, it was, dude, it was just sitting. So I wrote like, uh, I wrote like social studies Jesus. on it and like put it in a shelf. Social studies. So like a year later, I'm downloading like Oregon Trail or some shit, right? And it says QuickTime. I hit download. And like from that moment, I'm like, mom, are you going for a walk? Mom, are you going to take the dog out? Mom. She's like, what the fuck is this kid up to? <laughs> yeah. So finally, she's like, yeah, I'm going for a walk. I'll be back in one hour. Oh. She literally went outside and went around to the back window and oh. watched me in the computer room. Oh. I get the disc. I pop it in. <laughs> what right? the but fuck? Dude, I, was, I was just on recon, so I wasn't fapping. Thank fucking God. Oh. I pop it in, right? I open up the first image, and it was like probably like Carmen Electra or Jenny. Who, who did Singled Out? Jenny McCarthy? Yeah. So like it was like line by line yes. coming down. Then the titties pop up and it's like still going. All of a sudden, it's like, what the f Like my mom comes bustling in because oh, no. she was at the window. Oh, no. oh. So she was like, what the fuck? How the fuck are you getting naked women on the computer? Because this was before the internet. <laughs> so I popped the disc and I completely ratted on the kid because he was the biggest nerd in my class. I'm like, yo, so-and-so gave me. She's like, bullshit. He gave me this. I didn't know what it was going to be. She, that kid never would have done that. So I just had to take the fucking fall for it. <laughs> what sick you tried to offer him up? I immediately was like, this kid, this nerd kid gave it to me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what it was. He tricked I didn't, me. No, I, I, <laughs> I was like, he told me it would be on here, but I didn't know. Oh, really? And she just wasn't having. I didn't, yeah, I wanted to check to make sure. So, yeah. I, that was my closest to getting busted. Yeah, you. But thank ten God, more minutes, bro. That thank been. God it was slow, because oh, I would have been fucking crushing to it. Oh, she had to get in there quick. She True. knew what she was doing too. She didn't want that. Yeah, but she, yeah, it was she a had to hurry up because yeah. she was on the clock. She was on like it was a matter of seconds. It was a, it was two separate conversations she had to deal with. Yeah. Jesus, bro, in your own room, man. Too. You must have been so bad at selling the so fucking. Where are you going? I was so bad. I was like, where are you? Like, are you going for a walk? I think the dog needs to go out. <laughs> <The> dog, <Mom. laughs> was, I was like, she told me, she was like, you were so fucking weird for like 20 minutes about getting me to get out of the house. Yeah, I had to come. Yeah. I was like, sorry, mom. I had to blow. It must be nice to watch an eighth grader just poorly act. Just be like, mom, go walk the dog. <laughs> yeah. about and like, they Why think are you telling me what to do for the first time in your life? <laughs> And you think you're like miles ahead yeah. of them. You're like, okay, if I get her out to walk the dog, Step I can jerk one. off all over myself. Get rid of her. At our family this. computer desk. It's time to whack off at the family desk. <laughs> uh, that's uh, yeah. Every kid's every fucking family computer got oh, just, just destroyed, dude. dude. Used every to get day, fried. Every day there was come. Oh, dude, it was crazy. You and your dad. <laughs> I used to fry my roommates' computers in college because I didn't have a laptop. I didn't have a laptop. So I would just be like, they would leave and I would just openly go to their rooms and melt their computer and then walk away and watch them come home and flip out. I'd be like, what's up? Like, who the fuck was trying to find one night in Paris? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Dude, I had a desktop. I had a desktop in college and I was, I was taking summer classes. I didn't think anyone was home. Got out of the shower. We didn't have air conditioning. So it was like 98 degrees in the apartment. <laughs> I was ass naked at a desktop in our living room, in our living room, ass naked, whack it off. And my fucking bro came home and sat on the couch and the computer's right here. And he's like, what are you doing? And I was like, dude, get out of here. And I was like, and like, it was like dude, for real, stop. <laughs> oh my That's god sick. naked it was always over. funny when people got caught jerking off and they'd be like i'm gonna take a shit they would just leave and just continue to fab i never actually no i got caught once by my ex-girlfriend when Red i was hand, in college it can call your girlfriend but i was it was weird because like i like came home from work and then like immediately got in the shower and just started jerking off and then she popped in to be like hey like like hi how was work and i was like head back <laughs> <laughs> And we were we were eighteen. We were having sex like nine times a yeah, day. Yeah, but still, yeah. She's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I'm just like, "I don't know. I just I constantly come." Like, <laughs> but it was like me head back, full on oh, fucking no, you're in the throes of it. In the throes of like, it was an herbal essence. Yeah, 
<laughs> you were having herbal essence shampoo. And I, my head was like, oh, till, I just remember oh, like yes. looking forward and it was just her face in the curtain. Oh my God. <laughs> busted. That's the only time I've ever actually been busted. Not including sharing rooms at, with brothers because you would get busted constantly. It'd be like, dude, stop fucking jerking off. You'd be like, I'm not. Yeah, it's true, true. true. We shared a room with three dudes. <laughs> yeah. I was pretty good. I never, I almost, I've said it before. I got caught loading up my hands with like an intense amount of fucking <laughs> lotion. And then it started slathering it on my arms. My mom was like, what are you doing? I was like, moisturizing. Like, Where'd you get that? I was like, it was on a Tom's Damn. Band. And I just left. Damn. That sucks for moms with oh, a lot of sons. Dude. Like four boys that are just whacking. Billy had oh, someone must have been whacking like once an hour. Somebody was whacking. Oh, for sure. I remember being in like eighth grade and my mom storming out of the laundry room and be like, I'm not doing any more fucking laundry. And I was just like, <laughs> and at the time I was just blowing loads and throwing them in the hamper <laughs> constantly. I never once put it together until I was older. Like, oh, dude, she probably picked up some like loaded boxers. Yeah, dude. I oh, dude, probably got on her hands. On her hands. She just fuck. And our I socks remember, were labeled with our, my mom would dude, initial our socks like, you keep your socks. These are oh, yours. Oh, so you want to know who these the perpetrators were. Dude, but then I started fapping when I was like 10. Yeah. So like by the time I could fully fucking rip ropes, there there it was what, like maybe 12, yeah. 13? Yeah. So like she was, those M socks were coming down at a very young age and she was just probably like, Jesus fucking Christ. But dude, oh. I blame it on her because she should have just sat us down and been like, dudes, start fucking getting tissues, quit fapping in your laundry, game over. True, but she dude. suffered in silence until she broke. Yeah, but you got to be silent, dude. <laughs> yeah, you can never do that. To have your mom I would do it now. Down. I know, you know, I wouldn't do that to my daughter. I think yeah, if you had dude. four daughters that were I would squirting not do on it. everything yeah. you had, <laughs> would you ever Fuck. be like, girls, no. stop squirting on I would those just fucking completely pillows. ignore it. I would go outside and just chop wood. Just fuck it. For yeah, sure. You have to chop wood. Never talk sure. about it. Well, my you'd son, have to come back. You'd have to come into your daughters and be like, the world's a scary <laughs> place, ladies. You should be very careful. Yeah. When I would just never address when we it. showed up, when me and Godine showed up to Louis to do the President's Podcast, he was just out front chopping wood. Dude, chopping wood is well, the he, best yeah. thing you can possibly do. And he handed me and we got to chop wood with Lou Dog. How was it? He fucking broke out a chainsaw right when we pulled up. Oh, I he got, was like, nobody can hear you out here. <laughs> what were you using? A maul or like a wedge and a... It was, uh, it was just a regular wedge axe. It was easy. It was so easy. Yeah, it's so much fun think, though, It's so easy. Dude, it's I do so it. Satisfying. I try to do it for like an hour a day at least. It's awesome. It's so much fun. Yeah. You get the wood burning stove. I got the wood burning stove. It's so meditative and it's yeah. so like... You just get into it. And then when you start fucking splitting them, you're like yelling and shit. You're like, fuck yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, really? You're or I have my son watch me do it. That's nice. And he counts down like three, two, one between axe blasts. That's oh, nice. So then I That's have tough. to fucking split them or else I'll be like, Dad's Pop, pussy. Pop can split them. How come you can't do that? Or like Uncle Billy, who's Billy fucking splits wood. Like, yeah, he's probably a motherfucker. I'm sure he it's does. It's insane. <laughs> fuck. But he'll be like, dude, Uncle Billy can split down. Like, fuck. It's not hard. <laughs> Yeah, no, so I wood we the wood. Wood. Yeah. It depends because the wood we he probably were using had celebrity wood. He was probably very had. easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was like, it was easy. He was probably using sled wood. He's yes. cracker, cracking fire starter logs. Yeah. Like I go back in the woods, harvest logs, roll them down. He harvested them. All right. I want to put some smiles, Don't dude. talk fucking I'm shit. I'm not going to talk shit on your boy, dude. <laughs> celebrity I'm not going to talk yeah. shit on the greatest comic of all time. Accuse him of having some like Thank washed you. up koa wood. Yeah. Of like supermarket wood, he was just European splitting. He knew we were coming. <laughs> he knew we were coming, so he had some wood set up. Supermarket wood is fucked up. I I do I, I huck Finn everyone who comes out to. What do you mean? I'm like, dude, you ever chopped wood? And they're like, true. Yeah. I'm like, no, you haven't went. I'm like, you probably couldn't do this. It's like it and does rule though. Every dude who gets it, they'll chop like a half quart of wood. Yeah. Because it's easier than you think. Like they it's fly so apart. Easy. Yeah, you wouldn't think you. You thought you'd have to be like a, a fucking expert to get them split in and half. You d I thought the accuracy would be hard. It's not. Not you have hard to hit dude. it. So primal. And then yeah, <laughs> I thought you'd have to fucking drill it. Nah, you just have to connect. You'd be it surprised, nicely. like where your focus is, your axe always hits. True. It's like archery. I'm terrible at archery. Oh, I'm terrible really? too. I might get into I it. I fucking launch it. I got really? into it for a over second. Over every time. Because I wanted to kill a deer with a bow and arrow, but I yeah. kind of lost steam. In killing the deer? I, like, helped this dude carry a deer out of the woods one night. Yeah, it's fucked up. Like, this, there's this dude who comes out and hunts around the property, and he has my number because, like, we always chat. And one night, I crushed, like, two gummies or something. I'm, like, sitting on my couch, and he texts me. He's like, dude, can you help me bring <laughs> oh, a 200-pound no. deer out of the woods? And I just ate the edible. I was like, yeah, I'll do this for five minutes, come back in, like, ride this out. I was in the woods for, like, three and a half hours with this fucking dude. Pitch black, pouring rain. Just geeked on like two gummies. Good Christ. Dragging sucks. a fucking deer that sucks, through the dude. mud. That sucks. And I was like, I don't want to do this that bad. Yeah. But it was cool. 
Dragging a dead deer? Was? Dragging the deer. Like it was me and some dude hoisting up like a 200 pound deer and just dragging it through like completely pitch dark woods. You should have grabbed his ass. And he you kept asking me him. where we were and I was so stoned that I just kept oh, being like, so we got to go to that tree. And I had him all over the place. <laughs> that's a tale as old as time. <laughs> so just sad. a local hunter asking the asking the village fucking idiot can you help and he'd be like guide me sir and you're like yes dude, this i way. brought him the wrong way you were like, like schmeagle dude yeah. i was like 300 yards like, the it's wrong just way. up here it's up ahead <laughs> come on come on like, oh, shit <laughs> it's over this way it was like pouring rain it was wild oh, that would have sucked dude i'm the worst with that hey. people were like we're we're uh well dude I, we were in the pitch black woods that's fair and i was like dude i don't know i think she we got a, a witch has hexed us dude yeah you, you know, could have been hexed I might have gotten hexed. You should have just night. dropped it and ran. Sprinted. I was thinking about ditching them. <laughs> just sprinted like, into the pitch black woods in one direction, screaming. Dude, I want to start ditching again. Ditching's when a nice you move. Out, we'd be like, you'd be like, yo, let's ditch this, dude. You'd be out like in the woods. Ditching people, boys. yes, just bro. Ditch someone, you'd be like, I forgot all about that. <laughs> and we always used to ditch the same kid, and he would chase us. <laughs> the second you would ditch him, he would start. He wouldn't. He'd have no problem looking shamelessly searching for you. Oh, it's so, so fucked up. Being like, all right, I found you. What the fuck, guys? Dude, that oh, is. No, I like the idea of him ditching the guy in the woods and then kind of fucking with him, like True. lingering around, like just ru- rustling him. a bush and then <laughs> sprinting. <laughs> Dude, looking back on it, that was the most fucked up shit. Like, I remember we like we wouldn't want to hang out with one kid, but he would somehow rope us into yeah. it. And we would like pull back up to his house. Like, Dude, can you go get that new like fucking Led Zeppelin CD? Yeah. Like, oh, it's right on top of my dresser. But yeah, go get that. And then we would just leave. Yeah, ditch, <laughs> ditch him. Dude. It's so fucked up. It's crazy. It's like brutal. looking back on it. It was fucking yeah, like imagine ditched. doing that now. Like if your friend was like, dude, let's go to dinner. <laughs> now it's funny. And you ditched your friend. Dude, that'd be so It was now free cell phone too, though. So it was now it'd be even yeah, you're harder. gone. You're off the map. You were done. Now it's funny. You probably for, by the time you went to brought it up, you'd forget. You you'd should like, ditch someone, dude. Like I'm ask like, them to come to dinner in Fishtown with you. Him. And then like <laughs> just be like, I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, just, just ditch leave him. Leave him at a Me restaurant. And three other guys are gonna go to the bathroom. Dude, right the guys, where are you at? No answer. Next day, big sorry, bro. We ditched you. No, never apologize. Don't talk to him anymore. Like ditch him and stop being his friend. Type move. Yeah, let him wonder forever what he did. Yeah, like what happened? What did I say? <laughs> like nothing. We just wanted. We to were fine. We were oh, we had an idea that we, we would want. We'd like to, so we filmed. Seriously, some of those things just make you stink. True. That that material does stank me out. That's crazy talk. That's not crazy. I just talk. got this thing out of the wash, dude. This is out of the clean laundry. Dude, I'm not saying you're not fishing vibing, but. You could stink. I could. I might have. Yeah, I might have a little chum on it still. So. No, if somebody accused me of like farting, I farted. I laugh my ass. You off. smell. I didn't want I'd, to say. It. I you smell like a fart. Don't smell. I promise. Occasionally, you I'm smell anywhere farts. on my body. I guarantee it doesn't smell like a fart. Could be the couch. Our heat on the couch could be emitting old farts. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to try to with the Trump? Your breast stinks. I I didn't want to bring it up. I was asking if you frame. farted. I'm not trying to do that. Listen to me. Dude, the last thing I want to do is fight today. I love you, dude. Let's chill. I just want to fish. I got it. You like it. I got a nice fight with the Ocon man about Ukraine. Again? He's still, he's, he's it was nice. War. We had a good Ukraine fight. How's yeah. he still fucking doing this? Uh, it wasn't like a serious. We were driving. I totally started it. <laughs> we were driving from here back to Philly. Mm-hmm. Just a nice nighttime drive. I was like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> 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 I was bored. <laughs> but I was like, he was like, uh, we were talking about why. I was like, why though? Like, we got to at least admit we we did instigate a little with Russia, mm-hmm. with NATO, like doing all that. We are kind of, not saying it's bad, really, <laughs> but we are. We are. We have some responsibility. Sure. What, he's like, we got to surround Russia because so they stop invading places. I was like, when did Russia invade anyone? Yeah. He's like Georgia, and I was like, all right, that one. I wonder why. Yeah. And then I got home and looked at a bunch of articles. There was one from the Guardian. In like, oh eight maybe. Yeah, I was just bragging about all the every election around Russia, we've overturned. Yes, we install like Belarus. That happened these, in the Ukraine. Every single like one of these countries, or whatever. Well, it was twenty fourteen. Yeah. Was Euromaidan because we did it then. Yes, uh, Georgia. We they did lit it. The reason they invaded on fire. Yeah, people like just chilling. The reason they the reason they invaded Georgia was in two thousand three. We f- flipped that election. Really? We just keep we just keep getting rid of anybody that's pro Russia and any of the countries surrounding them. Yeah, anyone that's like we want to trade with Russia, we're like get rid of that. And guy the people here. that are like, like speaking Russian, what, what, why are we doing this? They're it's like crazy. cutting their water supply off. I think it was in like Crimea. Well, I mean, or something. I guess why is to keep them down because we're number one. I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm telling you. Also, if- who do you think funded? The, it was a very interesting article from the Guardian because it was uh it was like 
this is how we're doing it. It was back when it was like, yeah. this is cool that we're doing this. This is fun. Yeah, yeah. They're like, it, this is how smart America is. We don't have to go in and use bombs anymore. And it, it literally says in the thing, it's like from the same guys that did it in Central America, like Nicaragua, we already did this. We're good at this. We go in. One thing we do is we get the youth. We get college kids. Yes. We hire activists to peacefully protest and make the government use violence against us. And then we can overturn their government. And it was like, this is brought to you by geniuses like George Soros. What? I'm reading the article like, oh, my God. It's all here. Where is the way back? Machine. Where does that plan sound familiar? Yeah, I, I don't know. There were some riots here, dude. That, yeah. over, that kind of overturned an election here. Yeah. I wonder who that was brought to you by. Yeah, for real. Anyway, well, it's also crazy making when, like, you think a little. When Lamar they're writing articles, being like, "Here's Why? exactly Lamar what our military is." Lamar's anti yeah. that shit. It's like they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't write that. Like, we're going to publicly tell you what our military is doing to destabilize another country. It's like, they're, so Russia can just read that and be like, okay, yeah, we'll just take. They, but back then they did. Back then they were the like Rand bragging Corp about it. They were like, look it. how sick America's intelligence is. The Rand Corp will, yeah. le will release a step-by-step -step thing of how they overthrow countries. And you can download it online. <laughs> That's insane. It's fucking crazy. And it works. <laughs> they do it all the time. And During it this works. argument, this is, you would like this. During the argument, Chris was like, you think the CIA killed JFK, dude? You don't know shit. Oh, come on, dude. Like, Brother, look into it, dude. They definitely did. What do you think? Yeah. Lee Harvey Oswald <laughs> yeah, did it? <laughs> I was like, you think it was just a lone guy? But then I do, I do agree with the argument that not everything was organized. What? Chaotic things do happen. Yeah. So like anytime People something happens, buzzer beaters all the time, dude. To kill yes. the president, you got to fucking plan that out. I, That's not some dude who can't to was, kill a president. You don't need to plan it out like that, dude. To snipe JFK, I understand that the JFK, one, but a Hinkley one, you can walk up. Don't get me wrong. There's some odd things about Hinkley. Sure. <laughs> he's getting dinner with like the Bush's friends or something <laughs> the night before. Yeah, how would you know where he's gonna? Just like how would you know where he's gonna drive? Like like, like Joe Biden having a other, someone says like Joe Biden. They did have a parade. Yeah, the what? It's a they were supposed to go okay. in like Chicago, just, and then they yeah. fucking someone snubbed it, and they did it in Dallas. Gotcha. I thought he was just like driving, so he was in like an actual. No, it was parade. a parade. It was, it was a motorcade, motorcade gotcha, open gotcha. convertible motorcade. So they knew which street he was coming yeah. down. Okay, that makes sense. Lyndon B was fucking jealous of him. Uh, fuck. I think it was Derosa had a funny joke about that about like back then having to shoot a president. You had to like read the paper, yeah. try to figure out where he was going, get a train schedule, like way back. Yeah. It's a lot of work. You had to like try to, yeah. You had to find a train That's, stop, wait there. <laughs> like Hopefully we, he gives a speech off the back of the train. Wiener was doing that shit where he was like, oh my God, you believe in the JFK um, conspiracy and aliens. He's like, dude, that and aliens aren't the same category. Yeah. Like that dude got fucking murdered by whoever. It definitely wasn't Lee Harvey Oswald. Yeah. I mean, it, good even if it was, dude, there. look into him a little. Look into Lee Harvey's like. O'Connor would love Wiener. Because if they asked Wiener, did you read uh, Anthony Fauci's book? Why would I read that? That's conspiracy bullshit. I read the reviews on move. I read the reviews <laughs> on dude, he's from a, Yeah, from a tactical perspective, it's like, damn, yeah. this guy's pretty fucking good at spinning. And O'Connor is good at that. I'll be yeah. like, dude, look into that. He's like, I don't know much about the Hunter Biden laptop. I don't know. <laughs> like, like, right, it ruins well, everything I stand it's for. It's just how you have a conversation with somebody. It's like, well, I'm just trying to talk. Dude, I'm just asking questions. I, was, I think I forget what the fuck I was reading. They were saying he had some shit to do with Iran too. Yeah, but like he, he was, was in Libya. He was yeah. getting Gaddafi's fucking treasures. So was Giuliani. Hunter Biden was with oh, Gaddafi. Yeah. No, no, no. He, <laughs> Gaddafi got killed, and a bunch of money was frozen. Yeah, and through text messages and emails and shit, there was people from Libya trying to get him in there to unfreeze the assets. Some goes to the dude from Libya. Some goes to the big guy. Did you ever see how we got Gaddafi? It's you know fucked that. up. It's yeah. such a fucking shit move. They play it. They play it. He's on, he was trying to escape out of a motorcade with his yeah. bros because the rebels were chasing him. And we, just, we just had a drone. Ass. We were like, all right, blow up the first car. Uh, we just knocked out the fucking motorcade, let the rebels catch him. Not even fair. It's pretty mean. They shoved yeah, shit up his fair. ass. I know. Yeah, they got him good. That was the one thing I remember hearing about that. They just shoved yeah. like a broomstick up his ass. But it was Libya. Saddam, said, Saddam was nice. Kazakhstan? Yeah, Saddam saying shut up to yeah. the guys yelling at him. Stella. Before he got fucking hung, it's just uh, a bunch of Arab dudes like, fucking, and he's just like, shut up. <laughs> they fucking, they killed him. Yeah, there was. Certain, I'll give him I, that. That's a beast move. Before you get electrocuted or hung, just being like, dude, would you up. shut the fuck up and do it, dude? You guys are gay. <laughs> Allegedly, there's money in Iran, a lot of it.
and they yeah. and they, there's Obama gave him a couple billion. Oh yeah, and there's some <laughs> there's Eddie? money frozen that if they can release, the Bidens would like a few hundred million in account. But supposedly, this is on another phone or laptop that was founded. Now, mind you, in 2020, <laughs> when everyone was talking shit to us, yeah. you're obsessed with his dick. You're obsessed with his dick. We told you he was doing this shit. Who said and, you were obsessed with Hunter Biden's dick? Oh, Connor, all sorts of people. <laughs> all right. You got to give him that. That is a funny rebuttal. It's a funny rebuttal. Sure. But, dude, the, they the, were obsessed with the Trump's future, piss tape. They Girl. were obsessed. They, they thought love they, Trump's piss dude, tape. Do you know how many leaks of Trump's dick there was? There was a one where he was in the spray tan booth. Just wasn't him. Yeah. <laughs> It was a dude with a real small dick. They want him to have a small dick. They would love Stormy it. Daniels said he has a huge mushroom daddy. <sighs> yeah. He has a huge dickhead. Did you say mushroom daddy? Mushroom daddy. Yeah, he's got a big fat <laughs> shit. <shatata. laughs> That's sick. Matt, are you sleeping? He said, no, I'm chilling. He's uh, at the plunger. Your eyes. You, it no. is a very relaxed mood in here. It, it is. is. It's a very yeah, chill yeah, vibe. Yeah. Lights off. No, I'm, I'm actually highly caffeinated right now. I'm an Please ACI. Please stop, dude. <laughs> Jesus H, you try to say you spilled my water. I spilled my water because of you. <laughs> I'm trying to fish line. a vibe. Get the vibe going, dude. But go. You should you should be more celebratory. You're being cool though about it. What? You're being, yeah, I got number one. Oh, it was number one in the United States. Not a big deal. <laughs> you're just hitting the not cool. A big deal, oh, yeah, dude. It's, cool. it's okay. Number one in the United States. That's not a big deal. That's a. That's. I was more stoked on number one in Canada right now. True. Why? Because I love my brothers to the north. True. And yeah. also. Cutting through—that's pretty nice. It's cutting through the broad. You might be changing minds in Canada. Canada is in a perilous condition right yeah, now. Yeah, true. It might be. Fun. It might be the light. Like, we're allowed to say retard, eh? Yeah. Oh wow. That looks I saw. Like I saw stuff you gay, up. eh? <laughs> looks like a lot of Look fun. Look at you on my TV in my fucking house. There he is, a raunchy, absurd comedian. Yep. That's but fun. No, you're, you're you're cool, bad. It's whatever. I don't know what you want. Tell everyone to suck your dick. No, unfortunately, when things go really well. <laughs> When things go really well, I don't get happy. Yeah. Makes me just feel weird. Yeah, obviously. I just feel like a weirdo. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah so sure. when, I, when I finished my first house and sold it, I got the check. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you feel weird. Yeah. I don't know who these people are that are happy. It's crazy. If you have Something to be like really an good child, happens, you- I'm like. Oh yeah, yeah it's like everyone's happy looking birthday. at me. I'm in <laughs> trouble. I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> Why like do I have any attention? Birthday, this is bad. This is bad. <laughs> here comes something really bad. Now. Yeah, yeah. You know, here comes something pretty bad headed yeah. this way. Yeah, yeah, it also makes sense. You'd be on high alert. If you're like, this is a really big deal. It's like, I hope it's not. <laughs> just wait. <laughs> fuck. Just say it's good. And it's let's... so pass. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a uh, yeah. People's got people... the place in Austin. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, you guys are Secure. both out of here, huh? We're out of here. Yeah. LaMare's coming. Yep. LaMare, don't lie. What are you doing over there? What are you going to do? Where are you going to live? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think with Nate for a little bit. That's good. He's going to live in hope. Matt's quarters. <laughs> you got to get in Matt's quarters. <laughs> he he keeps right. doing that. He keeps being like, for real, can I? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dude. You'll get a spot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not worried. You're being I'm very worried. proactive about it. What about getting those? a spot? Yeah, I know. Right? No, hey, go down, <laughs> post up with Nate. Be homeless Craigslist. down there. Yeah, I, I there's figured, tents under the bridge down there. <laughs> it's warm. It out, it's fucking warm. I can't believe you're fucking forty, Lamar. I saw it was your birthday a little while back. Yeah. God damn, Lamar's forty. I'm not forty. How old are you? Thirty-three. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah. He's fucking. So <laughs> yeah. happy fortieth birthday. I was like, dude, Spade, Lamar's the same age as you. <laughs> no, Lamar's not. I was gonna say, he's pretty good for forty. Yeah, how old's Nate? Nate's probably thirty-five. Dude, what are you trying to pull? He's younger than you. Frank on me. What? I'm no. to, no. I thought Nate was my age. Oh, yeah, that thing. Push it to me. <laughs> I'm not playing horseplay. Yeah, dude, no Tom Fuller. No horseplay. We need to get down to brass tacks. We do. So what? It's time to talk business. Absolutely. Hunter Biden laughed. <laughs> you did it. You see we, your boy McConnell freeze up again? Dude. Again? Yeah, he, hit the, so he hit the bad. pause button again. And they're like, he keeps uh, freezing him. I got God. God is going on. The right. souls of people who fucking fell to opiates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that dude fucking let that shit. He opened the floodgates yeah, on Kentucky, opiates. Kentucky was a rough state. For yeah, he's, really? he's the richest dude in Kentucky. Everyone else is on drugs. Yeah. Is he? What about Papa John? I don't think so. Papa John's a Louisville man. Better ingredients, better pizza. Oh, oh yeah, God. he's not richer than Papa John. Papa John's the richest. So Mitch McConnell is the richest dude in I'm Kentucky. pretty sure he's like one of the richest dudes dude, in Kentucky. Dude, if I could pick anywhere to Papa be the John richest guy, it would be Kentucky. That's sick. With a moat. And then he, they 
And then they besieged him with was the N-word. quoting someone saying the N word, and they took it all away from him. Wayne Hughes. Wayne, Wayne Hughes. Hughes. Where's Mitch McConnell on there? Richest man in Kentucky. Which is man in all of Kentucky. Yeah, I feel like Kentucky you could go do like prima nocta and stuff. Like, let me see that girl. Yeah. I'll give your family enough money. Yeah, it is fucked up. They're all doing that. Doing what? This has never Freezing happened up? in politics. Freezing? No, like this is like this geezer shit. Uh, this geese fest. Back in the, there's been geezers around. Really? But like yeah. this bad? I mean, but like Franklin, now that we have like Ben Franklin was old as shit. Was he? Yeah. Number six. It's fucking for uh, Where's Papa J? Number four. Fuck. Who's in front of him? Jack Harlow? Mary Gaylord and John Calipari. Fuck. John Calipari? John Calipari. The Wildcats are paying him. Who's Calipari? He's the head coach of Kentucky. He's the richest guy in Kentucky? One of them. Second richest guy. That can't be. That can't be. Who, Mary Gaylord? He might be Mary. There's no way Cal Party's getting more than. B. Wayne Hughes. Yeah. Four point, before he died, he made $4.1 billion. How much does Cal Party have? He's $45 million. Yeah, there's no way Dude. he has. That's not yeah. more Dude, than. You're not looking uh, at a list. Papa John's order. got way more than I that. I think you're looking yeah. at a general list of rich yeah. people. I'm sure. Make this list. <laughs> I'm sure Cal Party's <laughs> the highest paid government employee in Kentucky. Yeah. Mary I'd Gaylord so. is number two. Papa John's number three. What's Mary Gaylord no. do? Brad M. Kelly's number three. Yeah, Mitch McConnell only makes thirty-five million, so he's like at the bottom. <laughs> only makes thirty-five Bitch million. Ass. Is this an- this is annual? Yeah. No, okay. it's just a- approximate net worth. And all their all their hmm. trading is if they get caught two G's. The Wild Wild West. <laughs> I guess this is where he was shot. And we're live. Yes, this is an actual dead zebra one. And Noah's favorite animals are horses. <laughs> Dude, Noah picked best animal, horse. Were you a ho- horse boy in high school? College even. Yeah. He's a horse boy now. He decided yeah, yeah, this. I, love horses. I, went to, I started going to school, like college, to get, be a horse vet. I was a he horse wants to s- jerk the horses. What do you yeah, feel? you have to touch your penises. Have you I, touched? No, I watched a lady touch a horse's penis, though. Really? What was she touching, Sean's? <laughs> <laughs> hey, toast to the ones we love, dude. Yeah. Whoa, man. We only roast them, dude. Yeah, we only roast the ones <laughs> we love. Toast to the dude. ones we love. <laughs> <laughs> Budweiser commercial. <laughs> this holiday. So do you know how the zebra died? Yeah, it got shot by somebody's uh, somebody. <laughs> Look, what's your number one animal, dude? Foxes. Foxes is a good choice. Ooh. Yeah, I would take red panda over foxes. Kind of a lateral move, but okay. A uh, significantly <sighs> cuter move. <laughs> I mean, right? depend, depends Have you on seen a fox's eyes. Depends dude? on which anthropomorphized version you're going for, but okay, cool. Oh, you're going like cartoons? I'm going Fantastic Mr. Fox. Oh, all right. Mm. So that plays a little bit into it. I never even thought of that. Oh, no, we gotta go. But then Red Fox, you got Super Mario, right? That's the Tanuki? No, that's. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I think Red Star Panda. Fox is. He could be a Red Pandy. Fuck, I'm trying to think of cool animals. I think right he's now. a fox. John, what animal you like? <laughs> I, I'm Black Bear. Black Bear's black a good bear. choice, dude. I, I got big fox energy in me, but I'm a Black, black Bear. Black Bear singing <laughs> in the dead of night. What's yours? I'm a chimpanzee man. Oh, that's, see, that's that a, a lot of guys like that, and I'm mm-hmm. firmly against it. I, I, hate, don't like I hate all monkeys. I hate them. Do you know that when they attack, they rip your dick off? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's the dick, worst thing eyes, about them. nose, hands, they do suck. Your, They're your the gayest animals. Little gay-ass foxes do that. I don't. Th- I don't rank foxes no, above them. What did you like? Red pandas. Oh, red panda. Red pandas. Red pandas above foxes is all I said. I never gave my number one away. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> Please. If we're doing it that way, fine. Mine's Silverback Gorilla. Oh, now it's an I like Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my favorite Tyrannosaurus Rex. I called it too. Yeah, I also like mine's Rex. ten Velociraptors at once. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ten Velociraptors to take down. I mean, I an Ankylosaurus could, take, could knock down a T Rex. A T Rex could really get all the way down. Legs. Yeah. An ankylosaurus or two could absolutely take no out dinos, a dude. We're st- true, true, now true. we go back. Honey badger rules. Y- yeah, honey badger does rule. It's Tasmanian overrated. devils were nasty. Tasmanian devils are top five. I got the dude. secret yeah. nastiest animal. You guys don't know shit about this. What is it? River otters. River otter. What are you talking about? We don't know shit. I ranked them number one last time we did this. <laughs> what are you a fool? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, <laughs> you stupid bitch. I had otters up there. I had otters. No, you had way regular up. otters. You think they're cute? Dude. I'm talking. You'll Sean. see. Is he telling the truth? Otters is up there. They're, they're, You're they're, they're, talking cute otters. I'm talking motherfucker otters. No, 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 no. Don't, don't try to be rude on my like show. Drown alligators and shit. Don't try to be rude on my show. <laughs> don't come in here and talk to you me just about me a otters. Stupid bitch. 
<laughs> That's because I told them to. I'm right, standing my ground. Hey, touche. <laughs> All right, you got a good point there. Shane, have you ever thought about sponsoring a silverback? Yes. How much would that I actually cost? don't like gorillas that much either. Why do you like him? They're funny. But I, what? Why do you like silverback? S- what do you mean? Why do I like silverback? Some type of gorilla. I know. But why do you like them? Because they're big and I like them. Yeah, okay. The leader of the pack. <laughs> they're big and they punch. And they're funny. Their zoo videos are funny when they walk around. Mm-hmm. I like the video of the guy sliding out of the cage. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Guardian, you include that in the edit. Have the guard, the gorilla slide out right now. Oh yeah, yeah. Just so everybody at home goes, yeah, that is cool. Yeah. They also like they go out ahead of their whole pack too, constantly yeah. worried about getting cooked. I liked them when they that one that dragged that fucking photographer away. <laughs> you ever see that one? No. He just quietly walks. But there's all these photographers in Africa, and a gorilla just walks by, grabs a guy by the ankle, and just keeps walking. And everyone's like, because you can't like scream or fight mm. back. Everyone's just kind of like, oh. <laughs> Shit. What he, like a he, lets go of it. he lets go of it after like 30 feet yeah they're funny too they, guy, they will dude. joke around with you yeah they're goofy. they're smart enough well, they're, elephants are pretty fucking cool dude mm-hmm. yeah but gorillas are the same height as a man and they weigh twice as much <laughs> so gorillas are me <laughs> <laughs> twice as much as just a normal person yeah, um, elephants rule Tim, elephants who else you got? Elephants paths. are sick, dude. They create paths in the wild. Yes. It looks like a man-made path. It's just a path elephants have been traveling. And they just fuck up poachers. Hundreds of years. Yep. They remember dudes. I like that. Hippos are pretty cool. Yeah, Hippos they'll bite you in half. I mean, all they'll types squish of your head. Half. You, ever, you ever see, um, what's his name's cocaine hippos? What? Uh, Pablo. Yeah, Pablo Escobar, yeah. yeah. No. Didn't they reproduce? Yeah, they got loose and they kept reproducing. And they like have hippos now in Colombia? Yeah, they're invasive. Invasive hippos. Yeah, John Dates. John Del Calo, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a choice in the answer. I my it's whatever animal I'm dreaming about. <laughs> Last it used to be it was wolves for a while. I was like, fuck yeah, but now it's robins. Red breasted robins. Nice, dude. I, had a, I had a dream a flock of red breasted robins mm. came up to my windshield. It's because you're off the nog, dude. Cried. <laughs> 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 Where they put them on the wait, grass. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Let him finish. Dude, this sorry. sounds I was, insane. I was sleeping. And I was, you know, I, I was just passed out, and I'm having a dream. I've been having these like weird sleep patterns. Like my kids will wake up. I'll go back. My last animal dream was just a whole flock of robins coming to my windshield, and they were so beautiful, and I just cried. I was like, oh, my God, these are such beautiful Coming birds. to your windshield, your car was parked? Yeah, my car was parked. And they landed on your a hood? A flock of robins were, like, flying and kind of, like, just joyfully, like, fluttering. all over the thing, fluttering all over. Did they smash the and windshield like, or just landed? They just kind of, like, playfully. And you wept. And I wept with and joy. joy. It was so beautiful. No. That's because you saw God. That's God. That's love. It could dude. be. Mm-hmm. That was the truth. You I saw th- beauty I think it and was. joy. I literally cried in my dream, and I woke up and said, what a nice dream. Were you hard when you woke up? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but that was totally unrelated, dude. <laughs> so say you. <laughs> totally unrelated. Don't try to sexualize and ruin it, So, so say you. Dude. Yeah, this motherfucker's you got hard from Robin. Birds, dude. You got hard from Bird. <laughs> you dude, got hard. Dude, they were Robins. They were a good omen. And they were mm-hmm. all over, and I was going, these are such beautiful birds, and they're so happy for me. And I woke up. <laughs> the birds are happy for me. <laughs> they seemed happy for me. I was, That's really funny. I was happy for them. So my answer is red, uh, red-breasted Robins. Man. That's a nice way to be insane. <laughs> just walk outside and be like, God damn, these birds are so proud of me. Listen to them. Listen to them singing. They're on my side for sure. <laughs> Dude, they're in my windshield. They're basically. No, here. I know. In the dream, they were on your side. Yeah, true. In the astral realm or whatever you fucking call yeah. it. Fucking make believe. <laughs> Dude, dreams are serious. Dreams dude, are a natural. He's talking phenomenon. about his deepest feelings, dude. Dreams are a natural you phenomenon. Never make believe crap. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, of, a lot of generals they adjust their battle plans. What the fuck? A lot of, a lot of generals adjusted yeah. their battle plans with their dreams, and they were victorious. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes Maybe they got everyone fucking dude. Dude. Sometimes, cut off. Maybe pay sometimes. attention, Banner Lord. <laughs> yeah. oh, a little thing called dude, the butterfly don't effect. Don't you dare maybe, say Banner Lord in the dream. Maybe that's why you're getting fucking stopped at the wall. Use Banner Lord in the vein. Yeah, maybe that's why your siege tower struck. Out. You <laughs> saw what happened on that last battle. Yeah, Motherfucker, like, I was up shit, there first in you, front of everyone. You ate going, it. <laughs> I died. My troops lived, and now I'm. You said it was cool before we were on camera. <laughs> I think it's cool. <laughs> you said it was so cool that I, I was laying it, and then they gave the castle to another lord after what I did. That was bullshit. <laughs> that's bullshit. You think that's might, happening to me? I'm surprised you can even podcast right now, dude. What would you do, dude? I signed the deal with King. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Reneg. I cannot. I reneg. I'm considering it, but he gave me Kuyas, which is such a beautiful it. port city. You've been having too much. He gave me the sweet <laughs> city. considering betraying a The king? sweet city of Kuyas. <laughs> I can't wait till you fire that back up. I'm so excited. It's, it's too fun. But yeah, man, that was such a beautiful dream, man, of just yeah those birds just flocking my windshield and just being like, oh my god, that's very nice. It's wonderful. I've been I've been getting lucky in the dream realm lately. I've been having some real nice ones. What's the last bad one you had? Uh, my kid fell down the steps and started foaming out of her mouth. Oh, yeah, it was a scary one. I've been careful on the steps lately. But yeah, that was a terrifying dream. Damn. You dream so much. Constantly. I also take magnesium every night before I go to bed, and it really hypes you. Jolts you? Yo, bro. It's it dream fuel. some nice yeah. ones. You ever take, like, a sleeping pill? Mm. That'll send you to fucking dream. It's wild. Dude. Really? Like yes. an Ambien? Yes. We should do a podcast where we both take Ambien and try to stay up as long as we can. Roseanne. Sl- little Roseanne. Oh, crash. oh God. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your face twitch. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what we're going to be like. That might be a sleepy This vibe. is funny. <laughs> yeah, invite her on for that one. True. Yeah. Kanye and Shady point. still need me. Yeah. I mean, oh, it goes through my mind. <laughs> no, that's that's pretty sick. Mm-hmm. Um, he flew to your windshield, dude. And you went... <laughs> I felt the energy. I said, "Damn, thank you, dude. I've always thought you were pretty great." <laughs> but yeah, dude. I'm. Is that Kanye? No, worse. <laughs> <laughs> Spit uh, take for the record. Animals. <laughs> I spit on my sweatshirt. I spit on my sweatshirt. <laughs> Tim, what's your? You said foxes pretty quick. Yeah, I like foxes. I like owls as well. You want to know a shitty Ooh. one that I liked when I was a kid? I like penguins were my number one for a while. Mm. Okay. That's in hindsight not that great. Really, Tim grew, used to grew catch out of ladies. Penguins. Tim used to catch ladies cheating on Club Penguin. When I was an IT guy, oh god, and I'd be fixing people's computers. Oh. I'd basically be showing up at your office unannounced because your boss scheduled me to come fix your computer, and I'd have to say, hey, "Could you move aside real quick? I gotta fix this." Oh, and I sat down on a, like a like a poodle haired secretary's computer, and I interrupted a conversation she was having with uh, she was having an affair over the online game Club Penguin. Wow! Yeah, was it hot? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, imagine, imagine really a man dark. who's willingly talking to another person over Club Penguin. <sighs> she probably had him convinced she was a child, oh. and they're just talking about how, like, oh. you know, we're not appreciated. Let's get away together. Are okay, penguins so. sexual animals? Yeah, they're monogamous. Very romantic. Yeah, they're yeah. monogamous. Yeah. They're monogamous for oh. which I mean, <laughs> ironic much. <huh? laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> North Pole or opposites. <laughs> John, tell Mike to shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> Mike, penguins are only at the South Pole. <laughs> God damn it. That's true. Damn. Man. Damn, that's where the wigger codes come from? <laughs> Penguins? <laughs> wow, man. <damn. laughs> what the hell's up at the North Pole? Polar bears? Polar Nothing. Bears. Yeah, but polar, polar bears, bears and penguins Claus, float around on ice. Never elves. to meet. It's really... South Pole's polar or South Pole's penguins, North yeah. Pole's polar bears. Yeah. Why don't they mix? It's a long walk, and you gotta go through. The- <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, like, what happened there? The penguins beat the polar bears down south, but the in the north, the polar bears reign supreme. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> The did, you know all, did you know all the no, kids? They didn't fight down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did the you know Christmas all the continents used to be connected at one point? <laughs> yeah. Yo. Did you ever hear about Pangea? What? Dude. Pangea was fucking nuts, dude. Yeah. I'm over Pangea. Pangea. I'm built for Pangea. <laughs> Just one humongous <laughs> landmass. Dinos. Me running at top speed all day, every day. How fast, dude? Dude, as fast as humanly fucking Top possible. speed. Top speed. You can hit 20. <laughs> Breakneck speed. 20? You can hit 20. I'll say 13 MPH. You think I can hit 20 miles per hour? You, no, I don't. 20 is very fast. 20 is fast as shit. Yeah, I'm going to say 13 MPH. But if we're talking Pangea time, uh, yeah, back in the day, if you were shape. used to fucking sprinting constantly. Way better shape. Matt, are you flying with the red-breasted robins when you do this? <sighs> no, they can't. They so right now the separation they looking over me. Uh-huh. The separation of continents is the only thing keeping you from sprinting constantly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> literally. <laughs> the, 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 the last time you found out world. about the ocean, you were like, "I'm not. I'm, dude, I gotta walk." If I fully yeah. unleash it, I'd be, the coast, I'd be in the coast in no time, and I'd be like, "Ah oh, man, I can't run in this fucking water." <laughs> That's where coasting comes from. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that today. Just when you were little, and you just ran as fast as you oh, could with so no sick, regard. Right, yeah. 
That shit fucking rules. I get dude. new sneakers and run in the basement. Dude, I'd just be like, dude, I can jump so high. Slamming your head these, into something dude, really hard. These new Jerry Stackhouse sneakers. <laughs> I can jump so high. These new feelers are so sick. Would you get good sneakers? No, that was the one pair I ever got. Yeah, Stackhouse. One pair I ever got. I got Jerry Stackhouse. Probably because they were feeling and probably cheap. Mm. I had the Shacks, man. They were hell. My on dad my feet. would never. Yeah, dude. That motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> now look at you. Now look at me. Triple the digit. nicest sneakers. You're wearing fucking you want. Air Down syndromes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even that funny. No one here laughed that much. Matt, did you ever fuck with soaps? <laughs> I wish. No, I never, got never had soap. I never got it. Shane, did you ever fuck with soaps? Probably not. What soap in the mouth? No, the shoes. <laughs> soaps. <laughs> Yeah, listen yeah. to him. Of course he fucked with soap in the mouth. Yeah, I got soap Dude. in the mouth a couple of times. I he's going he, yeah, to ding-dong your bird if you don't knock he's that shit off. Really <laughs> before he gets to my bird, brother. <laughs> so up to the Give North me Pole. I'm going to yeah. hurt my hand on Jeez. his bird, dude. I'm going to get perks. Grab the head of his penis and yank it. <laughs> Ring the bell one time. Yank the bell once. A hunchback of Notre Dame, um, dude. I give you a lot of credit. Every time I see you, I try to ball tap you, and you always defend it pretty I've, well. I grew really? up around, I grew yeah. up around very, He's a Highlander with ball tapping. I grew up around ball tapping and panting at a high level. Jim's these types of pants. He's a Dagestani wrestler of ball tops. <laughs> right? If somebody if somebody walks by me closely, uh, You're every time. Yeah, this motherfucker's from Fagistan. Because I do it when I walk. It's not Fagistan, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck invading it, dude. Yeah. No one's ever been able to it. Your mom grenade off. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, it was constant ball tapping. Send me your dad's location. I do it to this day. If I walk past somebody, I I don't tap anymore. But I go. When's it? How how far into like meeting someone do you touch their genitals without them wanting to? It depends on the guy, but usually pretty early. That's nice. African Americans, you hold off. Yeah, you wait. You wait. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on like you. you shit. <laughs> yeah, a black ball tap is like a punch in the face, dude. I've said it before. I ball tapped Courtney. Oh, I remember that? Holy shit, dude! No hesitation. He punched me in the balls. And oh, I didn't even ball tap him. I did the fucking. You see where the horse bit me? And you fucking. I went like that. I went. <laughs> <laughs> I went you see where the horse? Bit me? And he looked. And I went. <laughs> and dude, I went, just he was like, oh. <laughs> he drilled me in the balls, dude. Oh, what the fuck? Brought me down. Damn. And I, I got red faced like this is a fight. And then I like in my mind I was like, he's right. <laughs> Like, yeah. I had to talk myself out of it. You gave him the octopus. I was like, dude, I just touched his balls. <laughs> I never heard. Did you make that up? The horse biting? Yeah. my No, I didn't. My father made... He did it to me. Oh, no, Shane. I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> I, was, I was ordering ice cream <laughs> at Davis's Ice Cream, and my dad came up, and the girl was my age. She was a high school girl, and she was cute. And Phil came up and goes, did you see where the horse bit me? Between me and her at the register. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Dad! Dude, you got molested again. Ice cream. <laughs> it's the most fucked up thing yeah, ever. That's heard. usually, you know, chicken, you know, Whew. what came first, the chicken oh, or the egg? Type thing. I got molested during ice cream. Damn. <laughs> Damn, he turned you into a Dairy Queen. <laughs> he got me. Now He's I can't. A fill. Now I can't stop doing uh, it. David Damn. Copperfield? That's mm. so fun. That is a funny, it's a fun thing. It's very fun, and you can do it to people that. Just if they're black, watch out. True, yeah. They don't like it. Sense, that's being aware. Yeah. That's off limits. Yeah, if you're doing Be like... Be culturally aware. Yeah, if you're doing like some sort of like community building, just don't yeah. grab anyone's dicks or like mm -hmm. fuck around like that. Yeah. If it's white, guy, white guys... What love, does your penis feel like? They, they don't like that. Sick. They hate that shit. White guys love sick jokes, dude. True. <laughs> Twist it. We are twisted. We're absolutely dude. fucking twisted. My brother and his friends used to beat the shit out of me, and then one time... They, it was funny. They beat the shit out of me in the living room, and then they took all my clothes off and pushed me out the front door and locked oh, it. Wow. God. How old were you? Probably like 12 and very fat. Damn. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Whoa. Tim, did you live around a lot of perverts? What, uh, no. There was four retarded kids on my street growing oh, no. up. Damn. I might have been one of them, Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> was four and a half retarded kids. <laughs> you were looking around like, no. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I lived up in Shutter Island as a kid. <laughs> my favorite retarded guy in the neighborhood story is Spade's. It's anytime someone talks about it, I want to talk about it. It's he had a kid in his neighborhood that was mentally handicapped who yeah. ripped the basketball hoop out of the ground once. They were playing basketball <laughs> and he pulled the pole out of the ground. <laughs> and, and, and you got to imagine Spade telling this. 
and being like, dude, I saw him put a Nerf football through a pane glass window. <laughs> the Whistlers. Dude, it's so fucking funny. Thinking of a fucking dude with Down syndrome putting a vortex through a glass window. <laughs> he, he was working in Legendary. The year. Yeah, legendary. Legendary. <laughs> Would you take a shot at me? What'd you say? It's probably said, the worst rookie itself. of the year. Oh, I thought you That's said Henry something Rowland nasty Gardner. about me again. No, dude. I would I never say man. nasty stuff about you. I'm... God, it makes me sick sometimes. We're on good terms. <laughs> We're not on good terms, dude. <laughs> now you wanted war? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not retarded or gay, so whatever you say doesn't even hurt me. I'm not fat gay or retarded. My dad didn't molest me getting ice cream, dude. dude to Banner that point. is cool. There's nothing you can do to stop me, dude. <laughs> Shane, while I was going through all my old Facebook posts, like doing... The Wild Wild West. That's it. Next one. Yeah. Next one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, the suck it song is yeah. so fucking tight. Yeah, that's a price, little man. Break it down. <laughs> yeah, that that's was fun. the um, wrestling's like mainstream and cool now, is it not? Or maybe not, actually. I don't know. What do you mean? Like, they're not wild. When like I was that. younger, yeah, they're they've chilled big. Yeah, time. when I was younger, it was like I would be like that shit's fucking fake. Once I got old enough to like got in high school, I was like that shit's fucking. Fake. I was like you got in high school. Yeah, when I got in high school. I was like, yo, that shit's <laughs> fucking fake, dude. Someone told me they watched it. I was like, like junior year, you're like, for I literally would be like it's fucking fake. I'm like that's like believing in Santa Claus. I'd be like, yeah, dude, I know that shit's not real. I was like a huge a point of pride. That for was me. people talk about wrestling. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like. <laughs> No, right, dude. dude, it's not even real. <laughs> you know they're not even punching each it other. It was shameful to be into wrestling after a certain age. Now that's what I'm saying. Now it seems like cooler. I think we're just in comedy. True. So there's like autistic dudes like Lemare. Yeah. Soder. That Soder's not sense. autistic, but it's Soder's something. Yeah, no, you know? that makes sense. That's what I was wondering. I didn't know if it's but also the Paul brothers. Or the one Paul, the Paul brother. The Paul brother's nice. He's it's fun to watch. He's nasty, dude. I downloaded the game last night. He's in it too. Yeah, he's in it. I can't wait to play with him. Control his. Are movements. the Paul brothers ever? They're never going to fight each other, though. They, they would not. They would never cross each other. They would never cross blood for the bag. I think that they did. They didn't. Fight. The Paul they brothers didn't fight. No, but they had bad blood for a while. They're, they yeah. did, according to an internet documentary I watched on YouTube. It's, no, I've 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 uh, seen the bad blood. They had a rap battle, a yeah. rap feud. Did they? Oh yeah. <laughs> I think one they, fucked they the other one's made... ex. Oh yeah. Damn. Sean says yes. The man in the box. You a hologram? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a tough look. Yeah. He did not fuck his... The Paul brother did not fuck the other brother. One of the Paul his. brothers wouldn't do that. I think that's what happened. Or it was orchestrated for Cloud Online. To it was get like clicks. a hit. He like prison style raped his brother. For all <laughs> <his brother. Yeah. laughs> Damn. Which Paul brother do you think fucks better? <laughs> Who's the box? I always get a big bro up. or little bro? Uh, little, little bro's bro. probably freaky though. Little bro, big bro like will probably freak. dominate you, dude. Big bro, Jay, the boxer is the big bro, right? Which the big bro is Logan Paul. Jake's, Jake's, but he's Jake's little bro. He's bigger than him. Though. He's big little bro. Oh, uh, is he? I think fucking Logan Paul is huge. Really? I feel Don't like you Jake... dare put that on though. He's not on gear. I get him. Dude. Yeah, dude. This is natural. The, who's the boxer who boxed? Jake fought. Nate and Davis. Logan's the wrestler. Logan wrestled. I think Logan started the boxing. I thought. Yeah. I don't know shit about this. I don't either. I thought Logan was kind of like a skinny boy. I like. I kind of like these boys though, dude. I've come around. I used to hate the boys. They've lasted for a long time. I, then I saw space. Logan Paul do WWF, and I said, "That's pretty cool." His mm -hmm. frog splash was seriously yeah. like for. I was watching it like well, I was yeah. so ready just to be like. Pfft. I was trying so hard to be cool. As I was adult. hitting him with like Kardashian. Remember that? And you'd be like, "Fucking Kardashian." Kardashian. <laughs> Fucking sluts. You could do every people to instantly like you if you walked in and be like, fucking idiot, fucking Kardashians. <laughs> Although that doesn't leave. My lady was watching Kardashians mm -hmm. a lot, and I would be like, This is fully retarded. Yeah, I mean this is crazy. For sure. And then I would play Banner Lord. Banner Lord's so much better. Banner Lord is better than the Kardashians. I mean, yeah, exactly. You learn more. I watched when I was on the plane, I was they do these like master class miniseries. Yeah, and they had one. It was Chris Jenner on making your brand, dude. It just made. I was like, I'm curious how this lady like puts this yeah, across. Yeah. She was just like, I'm a mother, and that's part of my brand. I'm a mom, so everything I do with my brand is like, 
what would a mom do? Yeah. Make, it's, it's fake. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, none of it makes sense. What would a mom do? Like a real motherly way. All that stuff. I've been, That's I've been my brand. Real rabbit hole of uh, <laughs> those business guys. Oh, there's, yeah. Now there's just a whole world of these business. The one guy that was like, I'm going to live to be 144 years old. I, I was watching. I was like, so you're just going to be this? You're going to be 140, 144 years of like. Espousing. I want to own 10,000 of- businesses. Yeah. yeah. That should never live for 140 years. You need to have a golden age where you can just kind of chill. You don't need to keep hustling and grinding. Maybe he would stop hustling and grinding, but I think he's going to keep going. I think he's going to merge with machine. He's going to have like a prosthetic dick, have like fake fucking hormones running through his body. He's going to be just. Still dominating the business world. Probably via Instagram. But what what businesses does that guy own that I benefited from? That's the thing. All these guys are like, oh, hey, you got to. Get on my level, and it's like, well, what have you done besides trick, you know, waterheads into yeah. subscribing to your content? Hey, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you guys this: Was ECW a big part of your upbringing growing was, up over there? That Philly, you don't have to change topics. <laughs> no, fun. no. I mean, I, yeah, I, I it was. Assumed. I remember. I remember the bad kids got into ECW. ECW. Yeah. I, said, I said, guys, this is too much. Yeah. It's too hot to handle for me. Yeah. You're like, let's Divorce. go run laps. Yeah. Let's, I was like, let's go. The DX is about the limit. We don't need yeah. Sabu. I think your parents had, right. I think you had to show them your parents' divorce certificate for, for them to show For real. <laughs> yeah. For them to let you ECW in. ECW was the kids with divorce. <laughs> yes. You had to be on food stamps. You had to, to watch show them that. two of your mom's cigarettes and then they're like, you can go in. I was, <laughs> a high, I was a high class WCW man for a while. Dude, really? I was WCW too. I was a high class WCW. Mm-hmm. Like Wolfpack? Come on. True. true. Wolfpack was sick. That and was I think Wolfpack predated. Around DX, DX was DX got me. Well, so DX came first, and then DX they left first. and came over and did NWO. Razor Ramon and Kevin Nash. They were not. WCW. They were not DX. Yeah, they were. No, DX was Triple H, Road Dog, Jesse James, Badass Billy Gunn, X Pac, China, and Kevin Nash HBK. wasn't in DX. No, but he was the progenitor of all of that. He was. Well, I don't know. I don't remember. I, I just remember. I was all just WWF pretty much the whole time. Oh, I thought that like Star yeah, King was that. the peak of spectacle. Did you, did you know the fucking lore behind Vince McMahon? How his dad, Lemare, told me this. His dad was like, promise me you won't go and buy. Like wrestling was very regional. And he's like, yeah. leave it all alone. And he was like, for sure, dad. It was his dad's dying Immediately wish. As soon as it. his dad died, he transferred ownership, scooped all of them up and turned it into a big national franchise. Oh, they monopolized the it whole rules. thing. Yeah. He crushed the territories. Yeah. WCW was because of the video game. Oh, dude. They had the best video yeah. N64? Yes. It's the only reason oh. I know. It was like Goldust. Was it. that Goldust? Uh, no, he was WWF. He was WWF. But okay. then WWE, the same people who made the old WCW versus NWO, all that, mm-hmm. WCW Revenge or something, mm-hmm. they were they switched over to WWF. They made the new WWF game. Yes. Now I'm a, now now a corporate man. Now I'm WWF. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So WCW, WCW Sting? They would not allow a flip WCW boy was Sting? Yeah. Gold Hollywood dust. Hulk Hogan was he went over to WCW. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a wolf pack. It was NWO. That's nasty. NWO came in with Macho Man. They had Conan, right? Viva La Raza. <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah, yeah. No, that's true. Mm-hmm. We know what we're doing. It's good talk. But they had that Sandman in ECW. Sandman. He would like eat a light bulb. Yeah, and hit yeah, a guy yeah. with a cane. Yeah. Sandman. There's that uh, rumble he had, I think, with Mick Foley, where he was out on his feet immediately, and he kept kicking out because he was completely concussed. And Foley oh, like no. kept hitting him with the double arm DDT. I think it was Cactus Jack, and he would still kick out at like one because he was oh, completely he pilled was up. And yeah, he was gone. Oh, Jesus Christ! It's a classic bout. One of the classic all time classic bouts. Yeah. Then Hell in a Cell happened, and it changed my life, dude. Do you know Take about Taker vs. Mankind? <sighs> Hell in a Cell. Fuck. Excuse you know me? about uh, Jake the Snake's dad was a rapist. He was a boy Whoa. rapist. Who? Yeah. Grizzly Smith was Jake the Snake's father, and he would rape everyone. All, like Jake the Snake's mom was like twelve because Grizzly got in there. What? Yeah, no. yeah. That's why Jake the Snake's so haunted. Yeah, he's a haunted yeah. snake man. My daddy done diddled me. There's <laughs> a lot of that. <laughs> really? My daddy diddled everyone. Was this fin- Was that his finisher? Like the? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, kind of. His finisher was called our the secret snake? game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is just our secret game. Pull Turn the blankets the over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really terrible. I'm sorry. For and Jake he was huge. Time. He was like six ten, like three fifty. Oh. On the territory, that testosterone there. he got from all those saliva. True, yeah. true, true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your daddy's saliva would make you grow good. So who was just telling me this, or did I watch it? He was keeping his he because they didn't have a lot of money. He would travel with his like snakes in like a duffel bag. 
and they would drive. freeze in the trunk. Yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'd have to find a new snake before yeah, his big wrestling. Yeah, like the bathtub event. at the hotel and forget. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and Andre the Giant would just shit in hotel beds because he couldn't fit in the bathroom. <laughs> so then they'd always find like his bedding just in the hallway oh in the morning because he would just dump in the bed, just roll a, it up, and throw it in the Oh, that yeah. That gigantic. Yeah. Jesus, man. Uh-huh. I mean, that's one way to describe Andre. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I'm firing on all cylinders Damn, right now. Vince is just calling the hotel. Hotels is just like I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Andre has to dump. <laughs> He's a giant. Yeah. Get out of here, you Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> Clean it up. <laughs> You're fine. Nobody know you had to Ray Donovan just for Andre the yeah. Giant's dumps. Yes. Nobody knows about this. Yeah. Just a rodeo clown with a shovel. <laughs> yeah. a fucking giant. He needed dumps. that barrel yeah. just for his fecal load. I mean, that guy had a load. Yeah. 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 He would drink like eight gallons of wine and <laughs> yeah, eat three turkeys yeah. <laughs> and then just destroy the he bed. Was a, yeah. He was a giant. Yeah. He lived like a giant. He would literally he eat die? full like, birds. He died really soon, too, didn't he? Must have. For a giant, I think he lived surprisingly yeah, he lived long. Life for a giant, long time. For sure. And he, yeah. there was some wear and tear on there. He was getting, he was throwing yeah. people and shit. Oh, yeah. Hulk fucking beat Hulk his ass. got him. That must have pissed him off. Dude, when they were like, Hulk, you're going to beat up the giant, we wrote it. I'd be like, thank you. Guys. Yes. Fucking thing. I didn't even watch. I was like kind of too young for like main Hulk Hogan. Yeah. But like I remember it being like, I love Hulk Hogan. I like didn't even see him. Oh, yeah, for you know sure. I mean, I didn't even watch Hulk Hogan wrestle ever. Yeah, he was like the Statue of Liberty. Like, he fucking yeah. rules. Yeah. Ripping his shirt off and shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had, I think my older brothers were old enough to like have witnessed Hulk. So they would like tell me about him. It was like a fucking Greek guy. Yeah, like, he was. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! I was old. I was old enough to remember the Ultimate Warrior. Like I do remember him. I still think about it all the time him getting locked in that fucking casket. Those motherfuckers. He's never the same. Who put him in there? Taker. On a take, yeah, Taker. Yeah. Bro. Taker. Taker. Taker got to him. <laughs> Taker got a lot. Yeah, I was a little gay boy. I loved HBK. Really? Yeah. Wow! But his finisher was a kick. I that was my favorite finisher. Sweet chin oh, music. Yeah. Sweet chin music. So was weak. So nice. No, nah, dude, that was a diamond. Stomp in the fucking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Diamond Dallas Page. He could hit it out of anywhere. Yeah, it was pretty nice. Mm-hmm. WCW let the little guys flip Obviously, around. Stone Cold Sunner. Oh, my Number God. Number one. He's like the peak of masculinity. Dude. Yeah, that was as exciting as it got. Yeah. yeah. I do remember that was when I was full. Like Stone, Once Stone Cold and The Rock, basically once Stone Cold was done, I was done with it. Yeah. But I would like, that would end and I'd be like, Fuck, dude, Vince McMahon. I, he might turn. I like. I needed him to win. Yeah, it was like really important for me. If Vince <laughs> yeah. McMahon triumphed over Stone Cold, a big piece of my personality would have just fucking <laughs> yeah, like collapsed. It was part of your scheme of right versus wrong, <laughs> well, good versus was. evil. He needed to win. Yeah, I would say yeah. Monday Night Raw. I'd always dude. have to fucking go to bed. I'd have to fight. I'd hide. <laughs> I'd say I'm not. I need to watch this. It would be fun to turn that into like an absolute, just like top down. Like authoritative regime where there's like the hero, you build these heroes up and you just fucking destroy them <laughs> yeah. in front of little kids. And like, <laughs> what's going on? The guy's like, money always wins. And that guy goes away and a new guy rises. Yeah. Just destroy him. That'd be fun. Yeah. It'd be good be for awesome. little kids. Make Farouk like be attached to a cart. <laughs> because of the historic for yes. sure. implications. Yeah, you could teach. That's the thing. Yeah, you could teach. To it. You could teach. Mm-hmm. You could show them exactly what the world really is. Yeah, it's reach one. Paul Kogan one. doesn't always win. True. Turns out, Green Street Posse or whatever the <laughs> Dick Greenwich, <laughs> who, they win. It's true. And all the cool guys lose. God, I hate. I don't know, dude. Dude, thing. after Elon and fucking Alex broke the fucking internet, the I, establishments, dude. The establishments, the establishments on its global, heels. Nobody says the word globalist like Alex Jones. He's like the globalist. Yeah, he globalist. says it this way. It's a Liberal, 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 liberal. <laughs> Well, Elon, I got to tell you, you got the globalist scared. It's just like, fuck, did you Elon say that have the 10 more times? Scared. He does have the globalist Bulls. scared, dude. You got the globalist scared. It's just like, dude, say that 10 more times. He, he says it like he has he... chowder in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he's back on He's globalist. back on fucking X, dude. Oh, yeah? He's back on X. Thank God. Yeah. The Phoenix had to rise. Yeah. I think he's still a billion dollars in debt. Too. Oh, he's, he's <laughs> yeah, he's fucking... I'm pretty sure he owes like the Illuminati money. A billion dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. He owes them so much money. Because or does his I, corporation owe them? Did he get around it that way? Oh no. I think they fucking like gutted him. Yeah. I, I think he's like dead to rights. He's doing cameos now? Yeah, he's fa- well now he's gonna be on Twitter, so mm, the operation back. the operations. I mean, dude, he didn't go to college, you know what I mean? So he doesn't he's not trying to brag. Dude, I don't know. I, just, <laughs> I, was, I don't know what I'm doing. I was a guy just, you know, working out of my goddamn garage. <laughs> Yeah, I thought fucking there might have been something to the fact that maybe something happened in that school that they weren't reporting on. He's like, then I, I got it wrong. I'm sorry. 
I do believe that happened. Retard. Yeah. <laughs> I do believe it happened he's, now. Yeah, he's like, I'm retarded. Yeah. He says that. That should be, that's like pleading insanity. That should be a legal case to be like, Your Honor, I'm a fucking retard. Your Honor, my client clearly is retarded. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, then he was, yeah, it was, it was funny. Listen to him plead his case because he's like, I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I, I call that guy a crisis actor. He was like fucking smiling. So I don't know. He's like, but that was it. That was it. It is, dude. Finding him ten billion dollars for that is fucking insane. It's crazy. Ten. It was like, yeah. It's, what I think is it was it? a billion. A billion dollars. Nine hundred million yeah, yeah, dollars. Yeah. yeah. That's a tough one. Your lawyers just gotta look at you like, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna pay me, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 true. We're okay. <laughs> He's like, all right, yeah. Because I know if you get a big settlement, they get a piece of that. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you get butt fucked by a billion. That lawyer didn't read the contract. Now he owes ninety million. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, what the fuck? Well, that's a scary. Yeah, dudes who have a lot of money can just lit- tie you up in court forever yeah. and just drain all of your funds. Yeah, and it's like I, I'm always scared about that because you'd be that would have truly expose how dumb I am because I'd be like, oh, fuck, I don't know how I don't. Yeah. You're reading like, legal we'll see stuff in court. It's like, yeah, you're yeah. definitely. And you read one paper and you're like, oh, I don't understand any of this. And you hand it to a lawyer and you're like, damn it, I'm out of money. What now? And like, go to jail. And you're like, fuck, <laughs> shit. I God, know I should have tried to read it. that goddamn paper. <laughs> do you ever try to read legalese? Yeah. It's yeah. impossible. impossible. Yeah. Why do they write like that, dude? Because they're the only ones that can that. read it. Yeah. It's, it's bullshit. a racket. It's yeah. bullshit. Should be, I mean, in my day, dude. Sean, get your mic off of your penis. Yeah, true. That's distracting us. Sorry. What was the thing you wanted to say? 1.5 billion. You got 1.5 billion. Retard. Yes. <laughs> Money retard. Money retard. <laughs> Globalist. Did, but that can't, like, what, uh, is he making installments on that? <laughs> I don't know for sure, but I it's think I heard Joe. that they just seized all of his assets. <laughs> but Texas <laughs> is one of those places where they can't take your house. That's, like, the law here. That's nice. Yeah. Know. Oh, really? I don't think they can seize your place where you live in texas so if you're slaying them things that's they can't crazy they, that's right yeah it's crazy if you keep those packs can they the stand home? outside of it and shoot you and your family yeah, yeah they can probably like <laughs> moon you and like throw batteries at you when you leave the house <laughs> that's kind of nice though they can't take your spot yeah i think that's true yeah that's, we'll let whiz kid gardini over seems interesting for a it. state that was founded upon that oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. true taking people dude out. I, did, I saw an old map the other day there mexico was way up there. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a lot. It was yeah. a lot we got from them. They had Colorado. They had the whole scene, man. Yeah. I, I mm-hmm. was watching. I, I saw this meme. Uh, Slim Thug actually shared it. And it was, I thought it was a pretty reckless meme, but it was, uh, who the fuck was it? Chauvin had been stabbed by a Mexican. Like Chauvin stabbed 22 oh, times yeah. by a Mexican. Nipsey Hussle's murderer beat up and stabbed by a Mexican guy. And he was just sharing it. I, I think he was insinuating, like, we should be stepping up for ourselves or, or like maybe saying like thank Mexicans for I think he said service. they're the only ones like 10 toes down they're the only ones holding it down yeah yeah, yeah exactly mm-hmm. standing on business well then someone Stand responded with that map well then someone they said got this big thing where like a black guy was like fuck them Mexicans they owe us for blazing the trail and the Mexican dude was like fuck you dude we've been oppressed before and it was uh, they started fighting online it is cool for like dudes that are bragging about being thugs I know. Be like, actually, we're impressed. Yeah. <laughs> it was. I was reading the comments, and they were pretty shameful. A lot of dudes were in there being like, "This is fucking stupid. This yeah. is dumb." But you had a lot of. Then dude, a dude threw up that map and was like, "We've been blah, blah, blah. look what was taken from us." Yeah, it was bullshit. But yeah, but yeah, it was a lot though. I saw. I said, "God damn." Yeah. Like the whole other half of the country, basically yeah. California, Arizona, yes. the whole state of Texas. Yeah. You see the Texas-sized chunk that was yeah. Mexico. <laughs> there was like Yank. They got yeah. that. That was a massive fucking defeat. Yeah. And then we bought Louisiana off the native. We were Americans. Mexico City, dude. We could have taken the whole pie if we wanted. We could have. And we said, actually, you know what? You guys can keep this because we're nice. Yeah, true. We're getting all that shit, though. Yeah, the gold on California way. You can have it below the belt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know they were so. There was like a Mexican guy who was like, yo, for real, this whole country's ours. It's not even their land. It's just like, come take it. Yeah, true. 